We'll go back to Parliament one last time before the end of the show. And uh, it's all systems go, of course, for the election of the Speaker of the National Assembly. And earlier, Abra Barbier, our uh, correspondent, our uh, reporter at Parliament, uh, spoke to the ANC's Chief Whip, uh, Pemi Majordina, and I believe she now has the DA's Chief Whip, Natasha Mazzoni, uh, to speak to about today's proceedings. Abra, good morning once more. Over to you. Sakina, yes, before I start speaking to Natasha, let me just give you a little update about what we've been seeing on the precinct. So we were here much earlier. It was very, very quiet. Hubert and I were essentially alone. Um, but now there's more activity, of course, because it's, we're moving closer and closer to, to 11 o'clock. So there's more security coming in now. Obviously, it's much toned down compared to other events over previous years, but like the dog unit... Um, they're busy doing their sweeps now. We also saw who we think are members of the bomb uh, unit just doing their normal security um, sweeps. So that is now happening also, obviously, as as we head closer and closer to 11 o'clock. But now I'm going to cross over. I'm going to start chatting to Natasha Matsone, chief whip of the official opposition here in Parliament, the Democratic Alliance. Um, Natasha, thank you for joining us. The this nomination and election process today, I can say it's been quite controversial. Yes. Um, you as the DA have, have, have made statements about it. The role of the Speaker in the National Assembly, it's a very important role, is to provide leadership and guidance um, to the rest of the House. And of course, you all represent the country. So having said all of that, why do you think today's move by the ANC is not a good one? Well, I think you've hit the nail on the head. We do represent the whole country. We are 400 MPs. So you've got to think of it almost like a school where you have 400 prefects and one head girl or a head boy. And in our case, our speaker has been Tandi Modise as our head girl. She had great respect from members of parliament on both sides of the, of the aisle, which was amazing. It was the first time since Max Asulu that there was a strong control and a, a great feeling of camaraderie in the House. It's a great loss to us to lose Tandi Modise, but it's also it's a bit of a relief to know that at least we have someone who knows something about defence taking up that particular role. The ex-defence minister, however, being thrown at us to become the Speaker of Parliament is just a slap in the face. So while Cyril Ramaphosa goes to the Zondo Commission and begs forgiveness for everything that's been wrong and tells the country how everything is going to be made right, his party nominates a woman who has been accused of human trafficking, a Burundian woman who was involved in a romantic relationship with her son, she has been involved in the Zimgate scandal, which was when a whole lot of MPs were taken on a joyride in a SANDF plane to Zimbabwe. She has herself to appear in front of a commission of inquiry in Parliament due to a possible insurrection in South Africa, which means she should have known that we could have been involved in a potential coup in our country, and she didn't know. So someone of this caliber, of this lack of quality, should never be put up as the Speaker of Parliament. And not only MPs, all South Africans should be furious that once again the promises that have been made to us over and over again are just being thrown into file number 13. We're expected to just stand by and accept things, and this time the opposition has said no. We will not stand by and, ex uh, and accept a, a completely inept Member of Parliament to stand up and lead us in Parliament. We need someone with integrity and beyond reproach. And that is why the Democratic Alliance will not just whine and moan. We are putting forward our candidate, Dr. Anneli Lotrit, who we feel is the perfect candidate for a, a Speaker of Parliament. And we trust that members of the ANC will vote with their conscience. That's why it's a, it's a secret ballot. And we trust that the opposition will stand with us and that we teach the ANC a lesson that their cadre deployment policy has done nothing but destroy our country and nothing but destroy democracy. Natasha, thank you so much for speaking to us. I'll catch up with you after the vote this afternoon. Great. Thank you very thank much. You. Well, there you have it, Natasha Matsoni of the DA expressing uh, um, her party's take on what is going down today. Um, of course, the election of the Speaker, it's, it's done by a simple majority vote. Um, and today's uh, election will be done by secret ballot. So members of the ANC could 
vote with the opposition, but that, of course, remains to be seen. Um, as you just heard, uh, Ms. Matoni also said that they will be putting forward their own name. So this automatically means that it will go to a vote today. It won't just be a simple nomination and then we have a speaker. We will have the entire voting process, um, which will take place um, later on today. Sakina? Well, thank you so much, Abraham.